we will learn how to prepare for your career in Canada. Preparing for your career in Canada. One of the main things you need to do is you need to do your research. You need to research the labor market. You also need to research about your career in Canada, do opportunities and requirements that the employers are looking for in professionals like you. You also need to build your network and we will explore some advice about how to build your network in Canada, even if you are living outside of Canada. And you also need to explore programs and services. Not only the, the programs that we have mentioned throughout the course, but also other programs that you can find in, on the internet or searching for job opportunity in Canada. When it comes to do your research, you need to compare your profession. And the way to do it is you will need to know your education in comparison to the Canadian education for your profession in Canada, the required skills, the optional skills, the responsibility and expectation from employers and from professionals in Canada, the requirement of license or designation, communication, and terminology used in your profession in Canada, so you were aware of that, and how can you interact with your colleagues. It's important to understand that most of the information that in your research can be found in tools like the Job Bank Canada. When you search the Job Bank, and we saw that in previous lecture, you'll be able to determine the requirements, NOC, responsibility, expectation about education, if you need a license or not, what destination you can get. Also, when it comes to communication, the level of English or French, and what things you can do to improve your language skills, in your, especially in your area of expertise. What to consider when researching? You need to consider the location in Canada where you're going to practice your profession, the employment prospect in that location and also for the occupation. When you search and do that investigation, you can find out what places in Canada have a high demand for your occupation. So that is, has to be one of the main motivators for an immigrant coming to Canada. Better than that thinking about the city that you plan to come to Canada, just think about the places in Canada that have a high demand for your occupation. Those are the places that you need to start to focus on because that's going to give you an advantage when it comes to competing for employment in Canada. And also, if you're looking to secure a job before coming to Canada, then you're going to be looking for those employers that are really willing to hire people from abroad. So it's important to understand the employment prospect of your occupation in Canada. And for that, you need to do a research. The essential skill and qualifications, again, using the NOC, the Job Bank Canada, and other tools that we talk about during the course, might help you determine what essential skills do you need. And if you're lacking any of those skills, then you need to find out when you can get those skills from outside of Canada and also any institution in Canada or online sources. Common job titles and the NOC might help you on that. Different job titles might refer to the same profession, but it's going to depend on the details of the responsibilities and duties and the, and the requirements of the occupation. Emerging trends is another thing that you need to consider when you're researching. If your occupation is high demand, it's going to trend higher, going to trend lower. For example, and just to make an example here, we know that the aging population in Canada is increasing, which means healthcare will be an industry in high demand in Canada in the coming years, which means people that are specialized in healthcare, like nurses, caregivers, and other professionals, therapists, might help uh, secure opportunities in, in the future job market in Canada. Compensation. It is also important to compare prices, and there's a lot of tools like Glassdoor, uh, a random port. So there's a lot of research 
and some of these tools and reports are included in the course where you can compare the prices of your services in terms of wages and salaries and that way you can have a better prospect of your occupation in Canada and how much you can earn in your occupation as far as you meet the, the requirements of your job when you're applying in Canada. Transferable skills. Transferable skills are those skills developed in one situation or occupation that can be transferred to another context. If you're working in the hospitality, you probably have a very good customer service. You can transfer that to any other industry. So that's a transfer skill easily. Computer skills are, can be transfer skills. Speaking several languages can be transfer skills. Uh, skills in math and programming. So that's several uh, transfer skills that you can use in order to pursue a career in Canada. And you need to include those in your resume when applying for jobs in Canada. For that, you're going to need to tap into your transfer of skills. You need to understand your qualifications, again, in NOC, professional or associations in Canada that serve your profession, can be a guy about the qualifications. And you need to consider career opportunities. And sometimes those career opportunities means getting in positions that are probably lower than what you're doing in your own country by just a stepping stone into getting into the industry. So consider that a part of your strategy in order to secure a job in Canada. Understanding your qualifications. When it comes to understanding your qualifications, you need to review your previous work experience. You need to research the labor market. You need to assess areas for further development, those areas that you've seen you lacking. You need to seek opportunities to develop your skills through volunteering job, through taking more classes in outside or inside Canada, and also through internships if they are available when you arrive in Canada. And documenting skills which you obtain, and you need to document all the skills that you obtain, any course that you do online or back home, or any institute, any kind of education or training that can enhance your resume and your work experience. Assess skills. In order to assess your skills, you may use self-assessment tests and also you can review your job requirements. The job requirements of the most popular posts that you find, that you feel you can uh, meet the requirements, just review the job requirements and then you can see what skill the employers are looking for uh, and which skills are in demand. If you do the a good uh, research, you will find out what requirements are the most common and the skills related to those uh, requirements. And that might, uh, might help you do a better plan in order for you to get ready for the Canadian labor market. You also need to determine your gaps of studies, the time that it takes for you to work experience. If you were being out of the industry for a, a while, for example, you have some experience in computer, but you've been working in another area, then you understand that whatever you learned years ago might not be up to date now, and you need to then look for information and training that can keep you up to date in order to enter similar position in Canada. Some tools that you can find is the Government of Canada. They have a website and the link is included in the lecture. When they have tools, assessment and training support, just read your information for different uh, uh, programs. And also, at the provincial level, Alberta have a tool, the search assessment tool that you can use also just to have an uh, idea of your career plans in Canada. This is the end of the lecture and thank you very much.